the supply chain for companies in the hard luxury industry, selling products such as high-end jewelry and watches, is defined by unique challenges. On average, a store in this sector sells only one to two pieces per year for any article on display. Contrary to how most products are generally mass-produced, every single piece in hard luxury is always either unique or a part of a limited collection. These goods are timeless in their value and appreciation, yet there is still an expectation of novelty from the customer. The sparse demand, combined with a continuous push for novelty, are the main challenges in the supply chain in hard luxury. Despite a growing online presence and the rise of e-commerce across all industries, the vast majority of hard luxury purchases are still made in store. It is quite uncommon for an individual to buy a $50,000 watch without viewing and expecting it in person first. Demand is thus concentrated in store, cultivated by the display presented before the customer. But it is no easy task to know how to capitalize on a demand so sparse and directly depending on the assortment. In order to put together an optimized assortment with which to maximize demand, it is critical to have an in-depth understanding of the cannibalization and the locomotive effect between products. Cannibalization means that products on display compete for the same customers who chooses between them. Whilst the locomotive effect describes how the presence of one luxury item stimulates the interest in another. It is common that a hard luxury company has more physical stores than the number of units produced in total for a given product. Thus, a decision must be taken on which stores to push the product to. If, after three to six months, the pieces haven't yet been sold, they are rotated to other stores. So the best stores tend to get the best and latest goods, and the remaining stores are often left with leftovers, preventing them from truly realizing their potential. The catalog for companies selling hard luxury items can include thousands of references, yet most stores are often limited to only a few hundred, if not a few dozen. From a classic perspective, one could say that the service level in this case is a worrying 10%, but for hard luxury, these metrics don't really make sense. Other common supply chain practices, such as time series forecast, safety stock, and ABC analysis, produce conclusions that are simply unsuitable for the hard luxury market. To conclude, as the demand in hard luxury is extremely erratic, with a high degree of uncertainty and with an inventory that rotates very slowly, a probabilistic forecasting approach is truly needed to have a thorough understanding of anticipated demand and assess the performance of various assortments.